Is it a coincidence that we have two combined, two less than three, three combined hedge funds all of a sudden deciding to close their short sale positions? And one of those is Anchorage, Anchorage Capital, one of the biggest short seller on AMC. They are currently sitting on 4 million short shares, people, 4 million short shares and they did have some put on top of it all right for some reason i couldn't find them here on the short sellers but you have the 13 a filing here you can see at the top here that amc entertainment you know where they are sitting on four million short shares all right so mr doctor or dr marco messler two massive hedge funds close in one day returning more than 10 billion to clients combined first Taiwan capital management is closing its 2.8 million hedge fund. I talked about this. Second, we have Anchorage closing its flagship 7.4 billion hedge fund and returning money to the clients because they are losing money on that and they can continue to sustain those positions, obviously. Now, what is interesting is, <laughs> where do you think those shares, these 4 million shares that they sold, you know, what do you think they're gonna actually raise the money to give back these 7.4 billion. I mean, the fund is still open. So when they close that, it means it will have to raise that money by selling long positions and closing short positions, which means covering, all right? So I don't know about you, but $7.5 billion, it's a hefty sum of money. So I'm betting, I'm betting you that, um, these 4 million shares are definitely going to start getting covered. People, we're talking about 4 freaking million shares here. 4 freaking million shares. Not 4,000, not 400,000. 4 million freaking shares. Plus the puts. All right? So I guess maybe that's why the share price of AMC after hours is kind of reflecting this 5% already. Maybe they already started the covering process, you know, because they already sent the letters to the investors today. So I'm expecting either a gamma squeeze to start happening or some of the other little short sellers here, because this is one of the biggest. So what do you think is going to happen to the little players here, the one with the 8,000 short sales? you know, or the 10,000 or the 150,000, you know, or maybe a couple of puts here and there. What do you think is going to happen to them when, because of this fund closing <laughs> and forced to raise cash to return to the clients? Um, folks, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to, you know, get all my, my, my hope up, but um, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. And it's going to be dangerous if they don't get out because um, the domino effect had started, definitely.